I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are we talking about the same Cloud? The guy's desperate to prove himself, not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Huh. Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A sack of all trades. Why? The top of the Shinra building? Because one's not I enough. Think there are riots I'll going on. Think about it. It's just one thing after another. How many people? Not a good day. Is this our project? Is it true? We have all the Get a load of this. Okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who will risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. Side. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with Shinra all this time I've been giving out, right? I mean, they got it. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah? Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. So, what do you think's gonna happen to our baby? I don't know. All this stuff. Now I wish those were my own. You know, special, but remember, mm -hmm. I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. 
Yeah? Why don't we all go camping? Like, the guy who only has to worry about the how. Doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? You were the guy uh, with Aerith, right? Whoever brought you back, what I guess? I'm assuming there us. was someone. Who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. It's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. Sorry for wasting your time. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? 
Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. Just now. Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. I can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. They're not bound 
to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both.
Materia. So an ultimate Materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me! In the Materia of Peace, we shall find the end for which we have long years. But I got a sinking feeling. I think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our own desire. Purest of material no more, with pain and spite they lack. Steeped in our own desire, purest of material no more, with pain and spite they lack. Steeped in our own desire, purest of material no more, with pain and spite they lack. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Keep it together. So it's my turn? 
strong and carry on. Hang back. It's on you. Save it for the head. not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release.
a most sacred treasure and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. Hmm. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. We're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? No. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Temple anyway. Uh, well, I, uh, 
I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? Have they set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. You might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh. oh what did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I... didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, oh, oh. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. of our planet are most fascinating, no? Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gee an attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. Hmm. We should go. Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. 
Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. may now face off against Bahamut Arisen. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help.
what do you... Nothing much. We're preparing for field work. I haven't performed any... At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. Field work? It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Treating me like I'm some infinite. I am the very picture of health. <laughs> See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever. <sighs> Very well. Good. Now, lay it on us. <laughs> take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local... Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point. But life springs are mutable. They rarely remain in one location. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the leaf. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. What the survey team has reported. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. There, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do. Such ill omens are... Excuse me, is something wrong? Ah, you again. Nanaki's companions, yes? Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's men. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale. One's believed... Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since... But always has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear and staved off. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see, from once the cataclysm has been averted, and our world stands triumphant, gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. I don't see anything like that. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the sky. We're gonna go look for them. As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders if you are serious. I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves here. Use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot, though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Now then, who would like to... Shinra, up until a few years ago, was a maintenance guy. Reactor. It's a dangerous job. Costs a lot of people their health. Cost me mine. I passed out on the job. Mako poisoning. But while I was unconscious, I had this dream. I saw friends I lost. My mom, too. They were crying, in pain. When I woke up, I quit the company.
can hand it to you. Come on. My turn. Sure. Right. 